The China International Import Expo opened today with uh, officially President Uhuru Kenyatta giving, uh, being among those who gave the keynote address once again, rubber stamping how important Kenya is to China. Joining me on set now is the Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Monica Juma to just take us through what this means for Kenya. Even as this expo continues throughout the week, there are about 100 businessmen who accompanied President Uhuru Kenyatta here to Shanghai in China to just showcase some of the things that Kenya has and to see what are some of the products or produce that Kenya will be exporting to China once this particular market has been fully opened. Thank you very much for joining us here on set, Ambassador Monica Juma. I mean, let's just begin with the bilateral relationship and the talks that President Uhuru Kenyatta has had with the uh, counterpart from China. What does this particular expo mean for the relationship Kenya and China have? So it resonated with us, and I think this also resonates with the greater vision of FOCAC, which is really viewed as a framework for a common future of shared prosperity. So I think this is the, the value in terms of the alignment of thought. Uh, and, and everybody understands that it is better to have a more prosperous, a prosperity that is shared across, across the globe rather than having a skewed trade imbalance. Are there plans um, to just sufficiently look at how we balance our exports and imports, especially when it comes to over-dependence on imports, reduce that and of course export more? The, uh, talks along those lines. The idea is to increase our export portfolio. You know, we are importing, yes, we, there is a skewness between our imports and uh, our exports, but the issue is not to reduce imports. The issue is to grow our export. And part of growing that expo, uh, export is to improve the value chain. You know, and that is why there is a very huge discussion and, and government focus also on manufacturing, on value addition for agricultural produce uh, particularly, because a lot of the things that we are exporting are still in their raw form. And so the, the issue is to improve them in terms of adding value, but also to grow their volumes. So quantum is important and not necessarily reducing imports. I think what we need to grow are the exports. The president constantly, uh, uh, while giving his, his speech today, the keynote address, uh, constantly referred to Africa doing business with China, what Africa wants. Are we negotiating um, the terms as a block or are countries going individually? Just clear that up for us. President Uhuru is the president of the Republic of Kenya. But President Uhuru is also an African leader. And as I indicated earlier on, he took the podium today on those two fronts. Because as you know, our Africa, our Africa foreign policy, our own foreign policy is centered around the Pan-African agenda. And so when we came here, we were the only country from Sub-Sahara Africa, the one of two from Africa, the other one being Egypt. And so President Uhuru uh, did his bit for the African continent because we believe our prosperity is linked to that of Africa. Finally, uh, there are currently about 200 company, Chinese companies uh, are doing business in Kenya. The president has encouraged more of them to come in and do business, of course, indicating that it is the best destination in terms of ease of doing business. But there's also, back home, there's a growing uh, worry. Um, that the Chinese are taking over even the simplest of jobs. In terms of policy, how do we ensure that there is prosperity in the various sectors, especially linked to the big four agenda, without having locals feeling like there's a takeover? I think that is a matter of structuring the deals. Um, you know that there is a government policy for buy local, Kenya, you know, products. We are also having a policy on the local content. So it's a matter of structuring this investment so that there is a local content, so that Kenyans are part of the joint ventures, so that they generate jobs for Kenyans, and so that they 
they transfer technology to Kenya. So it is very specific. It's not about numbers. I mean, I, you know other many countries that are developed have far more many companies. So it's not the number of companies. It's how we structure the investment. And that is what we are focusing on from the Department of Industrialization. We shouldn't worry. That was Ambassador Monica Juma, Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs, saying there's really no need to worry about the kind of business that Kenya is doing with China. If anything, it's meant to spark Kenya into economic growth. My name is Akisa Wandera for KTN News. Right. Thank you so much, Akisa Wandera, you know, giving us latest updates when it comes to Kenya-China trade during the uh, Shanghai Import Expo. And, of course, that's happening in China. Time to take another commercial break here on KTN News Center, but we still have a lot lined up.